Okay, let's take a step back and summarize what we've discussed so far relating to our design challenge. We just determined that there is an induced EMF on our satellite, which is a conductor, as it moves through the Earth's magnetic field, but it's not large enough to cause problems for the operation of the satellite. Then we also determine that we can steer something, maybe a metallic blanket, towards an enemy satellite using magnetotorquers, comprised of three separate current, current carrying loops. And the steering is achieved by controlling how much current flows through each of the loops, which in turn controls how much torque that each loop feels in the Earth's magnetic field. But we need to do more than just steer the magnetic blanket, metallic, sorry, metallic blanket towards the enemy satellite. We need a force to push it out into space towards the hostile satellite. And ideally, we would want to give it just the right amount of push, depending on how far away the enemy satellite is. Can we use magnetic fields, possibly, to launch the metallic blanket? Well, the physics involved in the induced EMF on the left side here of the screen won't really help us because our projectile, the metallic blanket, is not moving yet. And the calculation we did here was for a moving conductor. So instead, let's see if we can tweak the scenario here on the right side and see if we can use this uh, and tweak it to give us a way to launch the blanket. For example, in this case, we don't want to rotate a current carrying wire loop. We want to launch a conductive object, which I'm going to label here as a projectile. And probably it would all be folded up, so I'm just drawing it as a line. Along, and we want to launch this along a straight line. Say there is a current flowing through our conductive blanket, because we had current flowing in the, in the loop on the previous slide in the, on the right side. So I labeled that here as I. If we were to use a B field to launch this projectile, in this case we want to launch it to the right, so I'm showing here the fo when a force that's pushing it to the right. In what direction would we want the B field to be pointing? You could pause if you like. According to wave propagation note seven, the Lorentz force here, we have F is I crossed with B. So if we have current flowing in the projectile as shown and the B field going into the screen, we'll get uh, the force, Lorentz force to the right. But we can't just have current continually flowing along a projectile if it has a finite length and the current needs to go somewhere. So I'm going to add a loop here and we'll put in some sort of a generator voltage source and some internal resistance R. And so now this current at the bottom of the projectile will just keep going. It'll make a complete loop. This is shown more clearly here. Now, the other sides of the current loop, this side, and this side, and that side, will also feel a Lorentz force because they also have current, and they are also in the presence of the magnetic field. But if they are mounted firmly to the satellite, then they won't move. In this case, they won't be pushed apart. Now, we want to launch the projectile, so we want to allow the projectile to move while still keeping it part of the loop. So we want it to be able to move in this direction. How might we achieve this? Well, we can achieve, achieve this if we mount the projectile on conductive rails, for example, and allow it to be pushed by the Lorentz force. So these are conductive. And uh, this way, the, the projectile will move to the right while still being part of the current loop. The current loop just gets bigger and bigger as the projectile moves to the right. So here's what it looks after it's moved a little bit, and now a little bit further. Now we need to figure out how to create the B field to give the projectile a force, this B field right here. Do you have any ideas? What would be the simplest solution for us to have this B field right here? We would need the B field to move with the projectile so that the projectile always has a B field in the vicinity of it.